Hello, Finance Homefront viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you find this content valuable, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with all our latest videos. In today's episode, we're diving into the shocking case of a multi-billion dollar cryptocurrency pyramid scheme that led to an international extradition. But remember, I'm here to provide information and analysis, not financial advice. So let's get into the details of this incredible story. The extradition of a key suspect in a massive cryptocurrency pyramid scheme has sparked international attention as Chinese authorities have successfully brought the individual back from Thailand. This case involves an alleged leader who orchestrated a fraudulent operation that generated close to $14 billion in illegal profits. The suspect, identified by Chinese officials as Zhang, is believed to be Teddy Tiao, a Malaysian businessman known for his involvement in the financial sector. The Thai authorities apprehended him in 2022, marking a significant development in international financial crime investigations. According to the Chinese government, this extradition represents the first time in 25 years that a suspect involved in a financial crime has been sent from Thailand to China. Teddy Teo, whose full name is Teddy Teo Wui Huat, is also known by the Chinese name Zhang Yufa. He established the MBI Group conglomerate in 2012, a company that later became infamous for its role in the fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme. The South China Morning Post a prominent newspaper, highlighted Teo's extensive influence and the significant impact of his operations on the financial markets, especially within the realm of digital currencies. The pyramid scheme, masterminded by Teo and his associates, relied on a classic but deceptive model to lure participants. Individuals were required to pay fees to gain membership on the platform, with the amounts ranging from 700 yuan equivalent to $98 to 245,000 yuan, which translates to $34,300. In exchange for these payments, participants received a virtual digital currency, which was marketed as an innovative and lucrative investment opportunity. The scheme's allure was primarily based on the promise of exceptionally high returns, a common tactic in fraudulent operations. The rebate system implemented by TO's organization was twofold, depending on the number of new members each participant could recruit and the total amount of money invested by these new recruits. This structure encouraged aggressive recruitment, with early participants benefiting significantly as more people joined the network. Over time, the operation expanded exponentially, attracting a staggering number of participants. Authorities estimate that more than 10 million individuals became involved in the scheme, contributing to investments totaling 100 billion yuan, equivalent to $14 billion. The sheer scale of this operation underscores the significant impact it had on countless lives and the financial market. Chinese law enforcement agencies, particularly the Ministry of Public Security, played a crucial role in uncovering the full extent of the fraud. The investigation into Tiao's activities began in November of 2020, following growing concerns about the legitimacy of the MBI Group's operations. The subsequent, nearly four-year-long investigation involved extensive cooperation between Chinese and Thai authorities, leading to the eventual apprehension and extradition of Tiao. The successful extradition of Tao is being hailed as a major milestone in international law enforcement cooperation. The Chinese Ministry of Public Security emphasized that this case represents a significant achievement in China-Thailand law enforcement and judicial collaboration. The ministry further noted that this success sets a positive precedent for future extradition efforts between China and other nations, potentially paving the way for more effective global cooperation in tackling financial crimes. The extradition of Tao is not an isolated incident, but rather part of a broader international crackdown on cryptocurrency-related fraud. Governments around the world have become increasingly vigilant in monitoring and addressing fraudulent schemes involving digital currencies. High-profile cases like OneCoin and BitConnect have drawn widespread attention, 
highlighting the vulnerabilities and risks associated with the rapidly evolving cryptocurrency market. The rise of cryptocurrency pyramid schemes has been a significant concern for regulators and law enforcement agencies globally. These schemes typically involve enticing individuals with promises of high returns on their investments, only to collapse when new recruits can no longer be found to sustain the payouts. The decentralized and anonymous nature of cryptocurrencies makes them particularly attractive for fraudulent activities, as they offer perpetrators a certain level of protection from detection. In response to the growing threat posed by such schemes, many countries have begun to strengthen their regulatory frameworks. Efforts are being made to increase transparency in cryptocurrency transactions and to implement stricter oversight of digital currency exchanges. These measures are intended to protect investors from falling victim to fraudulent schemes and to ensure the integrity of the financial markets. The case of Teddy Tiao and the MBI Group serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers associated with unregulated investment opportunities, particularly in the digital currency space. The scale of the operation involving billions of dollars and millions of participants highlights the urgent need for robust regulatory measures and international cooperation to prevent similar incidents in the future. For those who have been affected by the scheme, the extradition of Tao offers a glimmer of hope that justice may be served. The Chinese authorities have indicated that they are committed to holding those responsible accountable for their actions. The ongoing investigation is expected to uncover further details about the extent of the fraud and the individuals involved. While the extradition marks a significant step forward, the process of bringing the perpetrators to justice is likely to be complex and lengthy. Legal proceedings in cases of this magnitude often involve multiple jurisdictions, complicating the path to resolution. Nevertheless, the cooperation between China and Thailand in this case demonstrates the potential for international collaboration in combating financial crimes. As the world continues to grapple with the challenges posed by the rapid advancement of digital currencies, the need for a coordinated global approach to regulation and enforcement becomes increasingly apparent. The lessons learned from the MBI Group case will likely inform future efforts to safeguard the financial system from similar threats. In conclusion, the extradition of Teddy Teo, a central figure in a cryptocurrency pyramid scheme that defrauded millions of people out of billions of dollars, marks a pivotal moment in the fight against financial crime. The case underscores the importance of international cooperation in bringing criminals to justice and highlights the need for ongoing vigilance and regulation in the rapidly evolving digital currency landscape. As governments and law enforcement agencies continue to adapt to these new challenges, the hope is that such efforts will lead to a safer and more secure financial environment for all. Thanks for sticking with us through this deep dive into the massive cryptocurrency pyramid scheme and the extradition of its mastermind. If you found this information insightful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support helps us continue bringing you the latest in financial news and analysis. Stay tuned for more updates. And as always, thanks for watching Finance Homefront. See you in the next video.